Hey, what's up YouTube, it's ICU, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to unjailbreak, completely remove check rain, delete Cydia, set everything back to stock, all without losing any data. This process has been made significantly easier thanks to recent developments with check rain, and I'm also going to show you guys how to back up any and all of your tweaks and all of their settings and restore back to them if you want to at a later point in time. And the best part is that because CheckRain is a permanent jailbreak, this will function for all versions of iOS 13, iOS 14, iOS 15, really whenever Apple stops supporting the iPhone 10 and the A11 CPU, this guide will still be relevant. So it will work for every new firmware release. The steps will be the same for CheckRain from here on out. This is absolutely awesome. It's how to go back to stock iOS and also how to go back to your jailbroken state while maintaining all of your tweaks. It's super, super easy. And if you're wondering why you would ever want to unjailbreak, there are a countless number of reasons. Some of the best examples that come to mind, if you wanna fully erase all of your jailbreak data and you don't really care about going back or maintaining any of your tweak settings, is if you want to sell your device and you don't wanna actually have to utilize a computer to go through the entire restore process, you wanna set things back to stock, you can do that on your device and you essentially then just need to go inside of settings, general reset, erase all content and settings. And uh, another reason might be if you just want to go back to stock iOS and then you wanna go back to your jailbroken state if you get bored of it and or if you need to take your device into Apple and you have to have it repaired for any reason, it's a great idea to unjailbreak. And in that case, you definitely wanna create a back up first. Or finally, maybe you just want to retry your jailbreak. Maybe you ended up in a hairy situation with a number of incompatible and or broken tweaks inside of Cydia. And speaking of a hairy situation, let's get personal for a second and talk about tree trimming. No, not that tree. Let's talk men's grooming south of the equator, something I never thought I would talk about on my channel. It's honestly a serious topic that requires serious tools. Manscaped is the foremost authority on the subject. Their Lawnmower 2.0 is an electric trimmer that's worthy of getting up close and personal with your family jewels. Designed specifically for below the waist grooming, but also capable of helping you out elsewhere, the trimmer features skin safe technology to prevent and protect from accidental nicks. It's rechargeable, waterproof, the skin safe blade is interchangeable, and it just plain works. But wait, it doesn't stop there. The perfect package available Available on their site also comes with a high quality anti-chafing ball deodorant, a ball toner, and refresher. <laughs> Seriously, guys, two phrases I never thought I'd say in my entire life. The lawnmower 2.0 and three disposable shaving mats for one low price. Black Friday and Cyber Monday may have ended, but I've still got your boys covered. Literally. With my code CRACK20, you can save 20% and get free shipping. Just use the link down below in the description. Okay, so now there are two different flavors of how to unjailbreak. First, I'm going to show you guys just how to go back to stock iOS. So this is if you don't care about any of your tweaks. If you do care about your tweaks, do not watch this part. Actually, skip ahead. There will be a timestamp on your screens now. It will also be listed down below in the description. And uh, let's just go into it. So, first and foremost, you need to have the CheckRain application on your device. If you don't have it on your device, then you're actually going to have to boot into your tethered state. Essentially, you're in your unjailbroken state right now, and CheckRain is a semi-tethered jailbreak. So you must boot tethered to have the CheckRain application, and that's what we need to use to actually go backwards. So if you don't have CheckRain, you're going to have to plug your device into your computer via a USB cable, and you're going to have to run through the jailbreak process again. I will also have a link down below in the description as well as in your cards right now to my full-fledged jailbreak tutorial which will walk you through all of the steps there. Now once you do have your check rain application you can continue. Quickly I wanted to show you guys that we do have this note right here. It's just titled unjailbreak test. This will stay right here. This is just to show you guys that all of your personal data will be maintained after this process is complete. 
Okay, so just open up the Check Rain app on your device now. You don't need a computer as long as you are in your jailbroken state. If you're not in your jailbroken state, unfortunately, you will need a computer to boot Tethered, as I've said a couple of times now. All you have to do is just tap Restore System, followed by Restore System again, and literally that's it. The reason that this works is because it essentially creates a root file system snapshot, so it will maintain all of your pre-jailbreak information. Really, it's just putting things back in the file system, setting things back to stock, and unjailbreaking. It's as simple as that. It's really quite fantastic. If you actually have Cydia installed, but you don't see CheckRain and Cydia just appears as though it's crashing, like I said, you'll need to connect and you'll need to go through the CheckRain jailbreak process one more time on a computer. So let's go ahead and wait for this device to boot back up now. All right, so here we are at our lock screen. It didn't take long at all. Just input your device's password and uh, I'm going to swipe over. You'll see I definitely do not have Cydia anymore. And if we swipe back, Let's go inside of our notes application, and I'm going to show you guys that we have this note still. So, unjailbreak test. This will stay right here. That's it, guys. You are now unjailbroken. And if you want to re jailbreak, you definitely can. Just note that you're not going to have any of your tweaks or their settings because you got rid of those. You had to have backed those up previously. All right, and now let's begin the unjailbreak process for those of you who want to maintain your tweaks and their settings. So what you're going to need for this is a computer, a USB cable, and obviously check rain on your computer. So if you don't know how to utilize check rain, then definitely check down below in the description or in your cards right now. I will have a link to my latest check rain jailbreak tutorial at the time of watching this video. So with that said, let's go ahead and just get straight into this. First and foremost, you're going to have to obtain a few things from Cydia. So I'm just going to uninstall them really quick and I'll be right back. And this is a great time to also mention that you do need to be in your device's jailbroken state. For instance, if Cydia crashes and or you don't have the check rain application, plug into a computer, rerun through the check rain jailbreak. Okay, so I want you guys to load up Cydia. You don't need to add any sources whatsoever. Just go to the search tab and you're going to search for Batchomatic. Now this will be in the description below. And once you navigate to it, just tap on install and then tap on continue queuing and then go back to search and you're going to search for files. Uh, and once you type that in, you're going to go to files, uh, file manager, tap on install, followed by confirm. The names for both of these packages will be down below in the description. So if you happen to miss it during this video, during the install process right there, don't fret, you can pause, check the description and download them that way. All right, so now what you guys need to do is just open up Cydia again after you have those two things installed. Go to the search tab again and then tap on Batchomatic. It should appear in the upper left hand corner. It's new. Now you have two separate options. You can either create an online.deb or an offline.deb. This is essentially a full backup of your jailbreak information. Now the online version requires an internet connection. So this is probably probably more helpful if you have a lot of tweaks installed. That way it reduces the size of the backup because it's not actually backing those up. It's just backing up a list that it then goes out automatically and re-downloads once you restore from that backup. However, if you don't have many tweaks, you can create an offline backup. That's what I'm going to do for this video. So once you tap on your desired choice, it will just go through the backup process. It will back up everything that you currently have installed. So let's go ahead and wait for this to complete. And uh, also it will back up your settings for everything you have installed as well. Okay, so there you go. You can see that it has saved it successfully. It gives you the file path where it saved it in the pop-up, but what I like to do is just hit export right there, and then you can send a text to yourself with the .deb, which will essentially be perfect for downloading and restoring to in the future because you'll already have it on your device and or inside of iCloud, which is just fantastic. So you can either do it that way or um, you can save it to your files. I just like messaging it to my Myself. It's just personal preference, really, as long as you know where it is backed up. You can also even export it to your computer. You can keep it anywhere as long as you can get it back onto your device. 
Now that we have that created, I want to just go back and I want to go to the home screen here and I want you guys to take notice of two things. First of all, if you'll notice here, I have cylinder installed. Pay attention to the transition right here. It's kind of like a barrel roll. Now this is not the default for cylinder and uh, that will essentially act as proof showing you guys that the settings for the tweaks are maintained after you do that backup. And then also inside of the notes application here, this is just a note for my personal info. So everything else unjailbreak, non-jailbreak related, you can see here that this note, it's just unjailbreak test, this will stay right here. So this isn't going to be deleted either. None of your personal data will be touched during this process at all. Okay, so now that we've created the deb of our tweaks and our info, all we have to do now is just load up the checkering application and then hit restore system followed by restore system again. Now, as I mentioned previously when I was talking about how to do this process with out actually backing up your tweaks, this is not going to do anything like delete your personal info at all. Really, essentially, it's just putting back the root file system snapshot that it created during the jailbreak process. It's just a file system thing, and it's just unjailbreaking your device. Like I said, no personal data is touched whatsoever, and uh, you will lose all of your tweaks. So when you do go to re-jailbreak, it's very important that you do have that deb file that we created with Batchomatic. So let's go ahead and wait for this reboot to complete now. Okay, so here we are on our lock screen. Let's go ahead and unlock. And first of all, I'll show you that our personal data has been maintained. So this is the exact same note and we are fully unjailbroken now. We neither have Checkrain nor Cydia or any of our Cydia tweaks, obviously. So now the next step is to re-jailbreak. So what we have to do is connect our device to our computer and open the Checkrain application. Now I'm just going to set my device into recovery mode to bypass the first check range screen. It's really up to you what you want to do, but I do highly recommend following my latest jailbreak tutorial. Again, you can find that linked below or earlier in this video in your cards. So just have that noted. All right, so now that check range has detected my device, I can go ahead and click on start and I'm going to click start again. Basically, I'm just going to hold down these two buttons, the side and the volume down for about four or five seconds, then release the side button and continue holding volume down to put it into DFU mode. And now that it has successfully entered DFU mode, it will continue through the jailbreak process. Like I said, if you're at all concerned or confused by this, definitely watch through my detailed video because we're not going through all of the information right now. I'm just doing a quick and easy breeze through of these steps essentially just for this specific unjailbreak and then re-jailbreak and install your tweaks video. So let's go ahead and input our password now that we are jailbroken. And now we just need to load up Chakrain, ensure that you do have an active internet connection. If you don't, it will fail and force you to quit. And now just tap on Cydia followed by install Cydia and just wait for that to complete. And now we can go ahead and launch up Cydia. If you guys get a pop-up similar to this, stating that there's an essential upgrade, I want you guys to do a complete upgrade first and then hit confirm. And then you're just going to tap on respring once it's done. Now that's important that you guys do that first if you have that pop-up. If you don't have that pop-up, don't worry about it. Just install the two tweaks we need. So go to the search tab after Cydia opens up and it doesn't have that kind of a pop-up there. And then search for Batchomatic. So it's the exact same thing we installed previously. Hit install, continue queuing, and now we need to search for Fileza as well. So go to Fileza File Manager, install, confirm, and just wait for that to complete. Once it does, tap on Restart Springboard. And once we're back to the lock screen, just unlock and navigate to wherever you have that deb file stored on your device. For me, I said it was inside of my Messages app, so we just need to go to it. If yours is inside of Messages as well, you're going to have to tap on the little I to actually be able to select it, and then just tap on the Share Sheet wherever you actually have it, and then go to Copy to Filesa. It will then automatically bring you to Filesa, and you can tap on that .deb, and then you're going to tap on install in the top right. And once it is finished with the installation, go inside of Cydia once more, and then go to the search tab at the bottom, Batchomatic, and then go to install.deb. And 
we have these options automatically selected because we did do the offline backup. If you did the online backup, you have the option to add your repos back as well, and obviously to queue up all of the tweaks that you had installed. So let's go ahead and tap on proceed here, and it's just going to install all of the tweaks that we had. Once it's finished, you have the option to also toggle on run UI cache. I highly recommend doing that and then tapping proceed because that way if you have any packages installed from Cydia that add an icon to your device's springboard to get them to appear properly, it does have to run that UI cache command and it takes a little bit longer, but once it's done, it's just going to respring and you'll be back with all of your tweaks installed. You'll notice that Cylinder has the exact same custom animation that I set, and if we go inside of settings, scroll all the way down to Cylinder, we have the preferences for it as well. So everything that we had previously is now backed up and reinstalled onto our device, so you can do that whenever you're ready. As long as you have that deb that we created in Batchomatic, you'll be able to actually go back and have all of the packages that you had installed previously. So I really hope you guys like this video and tutorial. I really tried to create it as future proof as possible. Obviously the only caveat is if Batchomatic and Files are no longer updated in the future, but they seem to be maintained fairly often. So this should work years into the future, hopefully. And uh, yeah, just subscribe if this helped you. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.